Hi, I'm Ken Shirley. I'm here with another frame drum lesson. This one is going to focus on variations for the split hand technique. Now, the term split hand technique is used in a couple different communities. The frame drum community uses it. The Darbuka community, uh, especially in Turkey, it's typically referring to adaptations of techniques that come from Indian drumming, either North Indian drumming, like the tabla, or South Indian drumming, the merdangam or the kanjira. Today, I'd like to show you three different variations on a kitataka which is a very common pattern using the split hand technique. So let's talk a bit more specifically about what we mean by split hand technique. The hand itself is divided up into two different groups. I, I refer to this as one because it's led by the index finger. In some cases, you can play it just with the index finger, although it's more common on the lap style frame drum to use the thumb with the index finger. But I would call that one, this stroke, I call it three because it's using the other three fingers. So one, three, one, three. This kitataka is a direct adaptation from the kanjira. On the kanjira, you have one hand only to play all of these sequences, and the other hand is holding on to the drum. So kitataka, one, three, one, three. When you bring the kanjira version of the kitataka to the frame drum, it doesn't look that different. Bring your hand close to the center and alternate. This is a muffled stroke, so you're not allowing the drum head to resonate. Kitataka. Kitataka dum. Okay, the second version of a kitataka, we replace the first stroke. Rather than playing it here with the index finger, we move it to a snap. Kitataka. The remaining three strokes, three, one, three. Or in Carnatic terms, a takita. Takita. But for the purposes of this, we're still going to say kitataka. Kitataka. Snap, three, one, three. Kitataka tum. Kitataka tum. Kitataka tum. Kitataka tum. Kitataka tum. Okay, the third version of a kitataka comes from merdangam. Most of my training is in South Indian music. I studied merdangam and kanjira. I have studied the tabla, but more of it in South Indian music. The South Indian drum, merdangam, is a barrel drum with two heads, and kitataka is divided between the two hands. So you would play with your main playing hand, which for me is my right hand. You do a three and a one. Then the bass head, you play a muffled stroke on the bass, and it comes back to your main hand. So when I adapt this for the frame drum, it looks like this. Three, one for my main hand, a muffled stroke, sort of like a pa, for the top hand, and then back to three. So three, one, top, three. Kitataka. Kitataka. Kitataka tum. Kitataka tum. Kitataka tum. Kitataka tum. Kitataka tum. Now the reason that I like this particular one, I learned it playing the merdangam, so it's familiar to me, but also it's very nice to play this particular kitataka at quiet volumes. The Kanjira one, where you're using all the same hand, it requires a lot of velocity. And it's, I personally find it difficult to play that at a very soft volume. Okay, let's apply these three different Kitataka split hand techniques to an exercise. I wrote this exercise in a meter of three. If you're a South Indian player, you could think of this as Rupa Katala. I'll play it for you, and then I'll break it down. First part, dum, dum, then we roll to a tech. I call that rek. Dum, dum, rekapa. Dum, dum, rekapa. Okay? The last sequence contains the split hand. Dum, snap, kitataka. And this is the kanjira style. One, three, one, three. Dum, snap, kitataka. It's in a meter of three, but it's divided. The 12 pulses are divided into sort of a seven plus five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. And you 
can alternate every other time rather than doing the whole kitataka just do a pa and a rest dum dum rakka pa dum snap kitataka dum dum rakka pa dum snap All right, a variation on that same exercise using the kitataka that has a snap in it. Kitataka, kitataka. It's the same, except we need one little change at the end of the sequence. The first part is exactly the same. The dum dum rekapa, same. The last part, the last five pulses, dum dum snap. Ta. Dum dum snap. Ta. Snap takita is what I'm thinking. When you speak the whole pattern, you can still say kita taka, but I, because of the merdangam, I think of this as a takita. So I'm thinking snap takita, which is a strange hybrid. Snap takita. But that's what I mean. Snap, three, one, three. Dum, dum, rekka pa dum, dum, kita taka dum, dum, rekka pa dum. Okay, the third variation of this exercise uses the merdangam kitataka, which is three, one with your main hand. Top hand plays a muffled stroke like a pa, and then back to your main. So three, one, top, three. So this looks identical to the first one where we were doing the kanjira style, one, three, one, three. But rather than doing that, the sequence is, otherwise it's exactly the same. So dum dum rekka pa dum snap kita taka dum dum rekka pa dum snap kita taka. Okay, let's bump the tempo up a little bit and try playing this exercise going from one version of the kitataka to the next to the next. So the first one is the kanjira style. One, three, one, three. One, and two, and three, and. Second one, snap, three, one, three. One, and two, and three, and. Third one, Merdangam style. Three, one, top, three. So it's like a pa here. One, and two, three, and.
this one quieter. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, it would be great if you did. I upload videos about rhythm, drumming, and percussion.